Now on to this. Have you ever wondered what celebrity hippo Jessica enjoys besides making films and documentaries and appearing on global television sets? She gets to enjoy a whopping 20 liters of rooibos tea daily. And if you're wondering, Jessica prefers her tea warm with some brown sugar. Now, Jessica's enjoyment of rooibos tea was a love at first sip, or rather said honorary game ranger Tony Hubert and his wife Shirley. The couple rescued Jessica as a newborn in 2000 after she was swept away during floods that affected parts of Mozambique and South Africa. Joining me now is game ranger Tony Hubert who is one of Jessica's carers. Tony, welcome and thank you so much for your time. Now, Tony, as mentioned, Jessica found your quarters when she was swept away as a baby. In fact, immediately after birth because her umbilical cord was still connected to her when she ended up on your farm. In fact, she comes and goes onto your premises as she pleases. That's correct, yes. yes Jessica was born on the 11th of March 2000 during uh, the flood. And I, when I found her, she was only 16 kilograms and umbilical cord was still attached to her. And uh, yes, she, she's still with us. I've saved many animals in my life. Uh, they all have been returned to the wild on the other three well. But Jessica keeps them. But even special, we have a second hippo as well called Sien. The Afrikaans word for boy or son. And he's about 10 years and two months old. He also lost his mother, like Jessica. Uh, and he also had his umbilical cord on when we found him as well. So they both enjoy rooibos tea thoroughly. Well, I'm sure you must be the only people in the world who live with hippos. Um, you've got CNN, and you've got Jessica, and they're all rooibos tea lovers. But, Tony, hippos are known to be some of the most dangerous mammals in Africa. In fact, they, they are known to be contributors of some of the biggest murders and attacks on humans on the African continent. But clearly, CNN and Jessica are, are, are really doing away with the stereotype. You know what? Uh, uh, many people say this, uh, and uh, but uh, I can prove hippos, they are very dangerous, like all, our, all other animals, but they do not kill the most people, you know. What kills the most people is elephants, lions, crocodiles, like thousands of people. Right, and obviously this is because, as a lot of people, we do find ourselves within the territories of these animals where we shouldn't be, and then finding ourselves right. being being killed by them. Now, Jessica is a tourist attraction. We know that a lot of people come from far and wide to come and see Jessica. Um, some of them come to feed her. But as mentioned earlier on, she enjoys 20 liters of rooibos every single day. Now, obviously, this does assist with the alkalinity in her diet. How else does this rooibos assist Jessica? And are other hippos now coming to you for their share of rooibos tea? Okay. Uh, as I said, Jessica, she's free. She's not in captivity. At night, she goes to she and she and got they they go grazing together. They come to to Jessica here and live an absolutely normal free life. They do not get the robot seed out there, but we do not interact with them. But uh, Jessica said with their robot seed, what helps a lot is that uh, now and then, uh, once every three, four years or so, or she, she, uh, like Jessica might need a bit of medication uh, in her tea. And then she drinks the tea without knowing she, she got her medication. So it's a very uh, useful tool for us as well to use here. Yeah. Most certainly. Tony, what advice would you have, especially for people, um, with regards to we know that a lot of our species, hippos included, are endangered. We do see a decline in their population within uh, the ambits of Africa. What advice would you have for people just knowing how to um, take care of our environments and having hippos part of our ecosystem for many more years to come? You know, most of the problems people have with wildlife, uh, uh, the guilty party is the, uh, the human population and not the animals. But uh, for example, hippos, hippos are very easy to control. Uh, uh, vegetable farmers are that who complain about hippos, they can eat fences. It's very, very cheap and very effective. It works 100%. I did research for many years on electrifying fences for hippos. It works very, very, very well. All right. Thank you so much. That's Tony Ubat, who's a game ranger. He's the carer of Jessica, the, the celebrity hippo that has been living with them and while not in captivity for the last 22 years. Now, still to